picnic at Father Son picnic with my kid. Now I'm looking at the date right now. It's that big red circle. Absolutely, I will make the best hot dogs that you and your friends have ever tasted. All right, love you too, Kim. Hey, you make sure to hang Graham's phone up all the way. Okay. Got a hypothetical for you. Oh, I hate those, but you're the boss. Senator Michael Corinthos, your testimony is the most wanted piece of evidence in your father's murder trial. To elude said testimony, your family has stashed you in a secret location for weeks. Suddenly you're back in Port Charles, responsible for hiding yourself. Where would you be? Look, I figured you were a good person to approach, you know? Luke Spencer's son would know every nook and cranny in this town. Probably used him once or twice. It's a lot easier to disappear than people think. Sometimes you just hide in plain sight. Is that what you think Michael's doing? I don't know. Maybe. Look, I could probably find him. I just have a lot of misgivings about trying. I mean, Michael's my cousin. It's the same conflict of interest that made me step down from the investigation into Claudia's murder. I don't want to hunt down family, Mac. You think Michael saw Sonny kill Claudia, don't you? I think Michael was in the cabin, yes. Lucky I feel sorry for that kid. You know, I mean, he got his brain scrambled in a bungled hit on his mob boss father who spent a year in a coma, then watched his stepmother get bludgeoned to death. The last thing he needs is my entire force trying to track him down. This isn't a hypothetical anymore. Michael's got to be brought in one way or another. Now, given the choice, I'd like it to be as easy on him as possible. Okay, I'll find him. Nice day to be on the lake. Here's some advice next time you're hiding from law enforcement. It's a lot harder to find fugitives than to stay indoors. This is private property, you know. This state is walled, gated. And there are always ways to get in. Like over by the Rose Garden. Rose Garden. Yeah, if you climb up the Tiger Maple, it's not that hard to make your way over the wall and drop down the other side. Uh, Emily, now when you were kids, you used to spend a lot of time here. Yeah, that I did. You're all grown up. A cop. Shouldn't you, uh, appear at the door with a warrant? I had probable cause. Yeah, I found a candy wrapper outside the east gate. Could have been a burglar with a sweet tooth. Smooth. Huh. Slippery, but smooth. So what's the story? Edward hiding out here? He isn't on here. No one ever comes down to the boathouse except for Alice. Once a week to clean it. So far, I haven't seen her. She's a juror on your dad's trial. You're supposed to be coming back with a verdict any time. Well, I guess I really blew it by letting you find me, didn't I? Well, that depends on the verdict. Look, how'd you find out I was here? It's just a process of elimination. There's only a few decent places in this town where you can hide out. You weren't at any of them, and then I realized you are a quarter main. Lots of places to hide here. So, what happens next? I have to take you in. But first, I want you to do something for me. It's a negotiation. All right, I do something for you, you return the favor. Like maybe walk away and pretend you never saw me. I can't do that. No, that's not my wife. I knew you'd say that. Why? Well, I, uh, I have to turn you in. But I'd like to hear what really happened that night from you. Not with Carly's spin or Dante's conflict clouding things. Straightforward from your perspective. When you look back with perspective, it all ties together. 
Michael had been struggling since he came out of the coma. It was neurological damage, he had impulse control issues. I mean, he was a, an emotional, volatile kid. And that night set him off. And I gotta admit, it was shocking when Sonny went off on Claudia the way he did. No one expected it. Everything seemed normal, one minute everything was fine, and then the next, chaos. Claudia had Michael's pregnant mother at gunpoint. She was going into labor. She hauls her out of there, steals a car, goes God knows where. I mean, Michael wasn't the only one flipping out. Jax brought me home. My dad showed up, wanted me to stay with him, and they got into this raging fight. And I stood there thinking, if I just come forward sooner and say it was Claudia who got me shot, none of it would be happening. So, you know, my, my head felt like it was going to explode. And that's why I decided to take off. I didn't know or care where I end up. I mean, Candace seemed as good as a destination as any, so I got in my car and I headed for the border. Michael's driving along. He sees the car Claudia stole from the Metro Court. He knows it's hers because it's got the valet ticket. But there's no sign of Carly and Claudia. So I yelled out for my mom. I was, I was already afraid of what I might find. My mom had a, a risky pregnancy, and we tiptoe around her for months because any stress caused a stroke. So, and after everything that just happened, I felt scared for her. Michael followed a track through the woods to a cabin. At first, he was relieved. Carly and Claudia had found shelter. I made my way up to the door, and I heard my mom screaming. Does it get hazy from there? I wish. I remember every second. I mean, can you imagine what's going through this kid's head? There's his mother on the couch. She'd just given birth, and this mad woman who'd kidnapped her at gunpoint is about to take off with the baby. So there wasn't much time to think. I just knew I couldn't let Claudia leave that cabin with my baby sister. So I grabbed the axe and I ran inside and I hit her as hard as I possibly could. And then she just crumpled. So still. Blood making a pool under her head. Michael dropped to his knees beside Claudia. That's so where he got her blood on his shirt. And she was dead. I didn't mean to kill Claudia, okay? All I wanted to do was stop her. 